Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, we are going to be learning about adding fractions with different denominators um, with the Boys and Girls Club of the Piedmont. So today we're going to talk about how do we add fractions with different denominators. For example, we have one half plus one third. So how does this look like? Here is a half. There's the other half. And here is a third broken up into three parts. So you can see here that the halves are not the same as the thirds. So since they're not the same, we're not going to be able to uh, add them. So what we have to do is we have to take the denominator and find the lowest common denominator, the least common denominator, which is, let's look at the two for the halves, is two, four, six, eight, ten. For this side, the thirds, we have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So the lowest number that they both have in common, in this case, is the 6. Therefore, we need to break this 1 half into 6. We add, make it 3 on one side, 3 on one side, that becomes 6, 1, 6, 1, 6, 1, 6, 1, 6, 1, 6. Now over here, we need to break this 1 third into 6s, so that means we need to break them into halves, here we go, we have one six, one six, and one six. So now, this, there is the same. The denominators are the same, which means we can add them. But how do we get to the six? So we have the first fraction, which is one half. And to get there, we have to multiply the two by three, because we went three places, one, two, three. So two times three equals six. And whatever we do in the bottom, we gotta do in the top. So one times three is three. So our new fraction would be three six, which is the same thing as one half. And over here, we had one third. So we have one third, and we had to multiply that by two because we went two times, one, two. So it's three times two is six. And whatever we, we do on the bottom, we have to do on the top. So one times two is two. So the Another way of saying three one third is two six, the equivalent fractions. So now we have three six plus two six equals, and notice that there's six here and a six here. So now we know that the bottom is gonna say is six. We just have to add the top, three plus two, and that is five. So the answer is five six. Let's do another one. We have one-third plus one-fourth. Again, we have a three and a four, and a, we can't add them because the denominators are different. So you can see here, these are thirds, and these are fourths. They're not the same, so we cannot add them. It's like saying, can we add apples and socks? Not really, because they're two completely different things. So. We're looking at the three, the denominators over here. Find the, the multiples of three, again, are three, six, nine, 12, and 15. The multiples of four for this one fourth is four, eight, 12, 16, or 20. So we're gonna look at these two lists and we see that the number they have in common, the lowest common number they have in, is 12. So that means we know that one third times what? So let's look at this three. How do we get the three to get to 12? We went one space, two space, three space, four space. So we multiplied it by four. Again, we gotta do the same on the top and the bottom. So one times four is four. Three times four is 12. Okay, and our next fraction was one fourth because we have one third here. And that is this, and we changed that to four twelves. So we have this, one fourth here, and we're gonna change that. How do we get this four to equal 12? We went one space, two space, three space. So we gotta multiply both the top and the bottom by three equals three over 12. So instead of one third plus one fourth, we have four twelfths plus three twelfths, which will give us four plus three is seven, and the twelfths are the same, the answer is seven twelfths. Thank you guys for joining us today.